Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a tutorial for you with the new NARS Dual Intensity Eyeshadows. For this look, I used, let's see, one, two, three. I used three of the Dual Intensity Eyeshadows by NARS. Um, so yeah, these are new and I bought quite a few of them. I love them so far. They're amazing quality. Really love the color selection and I really love the way the look came out. So this is more probably of a fall look for a lot of you, but I would totally rock this in the summer. I really, really like the way it turned out. Oh, I just love it. Love these colors. So yeah, if you guys want to know how to get this look, just keep watching. So I'm going to take my NARS eyeshadow primer and I'm just going to put this all over the lid. Since we're going to be using mostly NARS eyeshadows today, I figured I would use this primer. This is just like a mini size, but it's lasted for a long time. So I'm gonna take this uh, eyeshadow right here. This one's by Mary Kay and it's called Hazelnut. And it's more of a cool toned brown. And I'm using my Sigma E25 blending brush. So it's very pigmented. I love these Mary Kay eyeshadows and I keep meaning to do a video on them. And then I'll forget about it and then I start using them again. I always go back to using these and then every time I start using them I'm like oh yeah I'm supposed to do a video on these but I really don't have that many so maybe I should just include them in a monthly or weekly favorites because honestly I use these all the time and I just keep forgetting to do a specific video just mentioning these but as you can see it's really pigmented blends out amazingly love these especially the matte ones are my favorite so i'm going to take this nars eyeshadow it's called Callisto. it's one of their dual intensity eyeshadows that just recently came out and i just filmed a review and swatches video of this so i'm not sure which video will go up first but i'm going to apply this eyeshadow wet because these are dual intensity so they can be applied wet or dry and i really want it to look as metallic as possible because i love my metallic shadows so I'm just going to use a flat shader brush and apply this all over my eyelid. Oh, I love metallic. And I actually think I'm going to use more than one. So I'm going to apply it more in the inner portion of the lid. So let's just bring it about halfway in. And when you're applying shadows wet, I feel like the best brush to use is like a concealer brush. That's something that's really like a flat paddle type brush that's stiff. So concealer, concealer brushes, um, flat. So flat concealer brushes tend to be the best type of brushes to use. Obviously I'm not using one right now. And you, as you can see, the, the bristles start to kind of bend back because it's not stiff. But um, I would recommend using like a more stiff brush for that. Um, this eyeshadow from the NARS Dual Intensity line, it's the Desdemona, Des, Desdemona, that's what it's called. Um, I'm just going to wet my brush, I'm just wet, wetting my brush on a wet wipe, um, that's my method. If you watch my previous videos, you probably already know that, but if you're new, that's how I like to wet my brushes. So I'm just applying this right on the rest of the lid. You can also apply these dry, so you don't have to apply them wet. I'm going to go back in with my crease color. I'm not adding any more eyeshadow, I'm just blending it out. So I'm going to take this shade again with a angled kind of eyebrow eyeliner brush. This is a really cheap brush from Studio Tools, I got it a long time ago. Um, so I'm just going to apply this right on the lower lash line.
So I did apply that wet lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take this little tiny um, smudger brush by Equal Tools and I just wanna blend this out because I don't like when it's a really harsh line on the lower lashes. I don't think it looks cute. So next I'm gonna take this one. This is the dual intensity eyeshadow in Subra, Subra? I think it's Subra, it's S-U-B-R-A. And this is the deepest one of the ones that I have. So I'm just gonna take this tiny little smudger brush. You can take like a pencil brush or something that's kind of small to get it in the outer V. And I'm just applying this right on the outer corner to deepen it up a little bit more. And this one I'm applying dry. I'm not applying this one wet. And I also wanna take that right along the lower lashes to deepen that up a little bit too. And again, I'm just applying this one dry. So I'm gonna take the Sigma E25 that we use for the crease color and I'm going to use this to blend the lower lash line because it is a little bit dark and sultry. So I'm gonna go back into the crease, blend a little bit more, especially the outer corner. And I'm gonna take this color again, the Callisto, and I'm just gonna take the flat shader brush that I used for the other shadow. I've already wiped it off, but I'm gonna apply this wet. I'm just going to touch it up a little bit. So now I'm gonna take a fluffy brush by Sonia Kashuk and I'm just going to blend the very upper edge. Um, so I'm gonna take this color right here by Mary Kay. It's called Sweet Cream. As you can see, I use this a ton as my brow bone highlight. It's just like the perfect shade um, and it's a matte color. So I'm just going to use that right on my brow bone. I'm using the same brush, you can use something smaller. I'm just gonna go back through the crease color one more time. So I'm gonna take this shade right here. This is called, it has a duochrome and I don't think the camera ever picks it up, but it's called Cassiopeia or Paya or something like that. And I'm just gonna take a small pencil brush and I'm going to apply this right in the inner tear duct area. It's like, oh, do you see that little pink duochrome it gives? I don't even think it's showing up on camera. So I'm just gonna go back in with the Diva Shade Subra and I'm gonna go in with this angled brush and I wanna apply this as my eyeliner. I decided just to do something that's more wearable than like a black eyeliner. So see, it just defines the lash line a little bit more. So that's really all I wanna go for. So I'm just gonna take a Q-tip, I wet the end of it, and I'm just going to wipe off any of the shadow that got on my waterline. I'm gonna use the Scandal Eyes Coal Pencil, and this one's in Nude. NARS also has one. I might pick that one up because I heard it last longer, so I might try that one. But this is just a nude eyeliner. So I'm just going to put this on because it helps, when you wear a nude eyeliner in the waterline, it really helps open up the eyes. When you put a dark color, it makes them look more closed and smaller. So I'm gonna take the NARS Paloma Contour Palette, and this is brand new, never used it. Um, this is what it looks like. I really loved the shade of the bronzer when I swatched it at Sephora, so I decided to pick it up. To contour, I'm gonna use my Zoeva Luxe Face Paint Brush. 
I love this brush. I have a comparison with the NARS Eda brush. I will link it below. But this is an amazing brush for contouring. And I probably got a little bit too much bronzer there. Very pigmented, so. It's so soft, I love this brush. If you want something less, you know, defined, you can use like a more fluffy contour brush or bronzer brush. Use whatever you have. So I was watching a video from a Raw Christie Beauty and I've been subscribed to her for a little while but I don't watch very many of her videos. I don't know why. I think they get lost in my subscription feed. But I was watching one of her videos and I think I was actually watching it this morning. And she was talking about another YouTuber that mentioned um, applying your highlighter first, then applying your bronzer, then applying your blush. Well, I just remembered that right now. So I've already applied the bronzer. So now I'm going to do the highlight and then I'm going to do the blush and I'm going to see how this works because I can totally see why that would kind of look more blended and just look better overall. So I'm going to start trying it that way. So this highlighter that I'm using is the one by Cover FX and this is the packaging right here and this is in Moonlight and I've been obsessed with this highlighter. It's an illuminator is what they call it and oh, I just love it and this is the makeup geek cheek highlighter brush so I'm just going to apply this first and then we'll do blush you see how beautiful of a glow that gives Just, oh, I love this illuminator, it's just beautiful. So for blush, I'm gonna take a NARS blush. This one is called Deucer. And I love this blush, it is, it's just a beautiful, neutral, kind of dusty rose color. I love it. So I'm just gonna use this Makeup Geek. This is the Makeup Geek Brounded Blush Brush. And I'm just testing out some Makeup Geek brushes, so. I'm using this one. So I can see what they mean about doing the blush after the highlighter because it kind of looks more like lit from within instead of having like a straight line of highlighter like it almost looks like it's blended better. So I'm just going to go in with my blush brush. This one's by e.l.f. I love it. Soft. It's amazing. So for my lips, I used the Urban Decay Revolution or Revolutionary Lipstick. I don't remember the Revolution or Re Revolutionary. Um, this one is so pretty. I love this shade. It's called Rapture and this is what it looks like. These are so creamy. They're amazing. So I use Rapture. I love this color so much, especially for fall time. 
so I highly recommend this color. It's beautiful. Um, I like these kind of mauve shades on me, and I think it goes really well with the look. I actually put a nude lipstick on first, and then I changed my mind and switched to this one, and I like it much better. So it is a little bit um, fall-ish, but I don't care. I would rock this in the summertime. So I'm really loving the look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye! I just want to tell you what I'm wearing on my nails. This is the CoverGirl Outlast State Brilliant Nail Gloss, and I think this color is amazing. I love it. This one is called Grape Vine. Isn't it just a beautiful, stunning shade? Highly recommend it. I love this. It's beautiful. Very, very pretty. So if you guys are interested in what I'm wearing on my neck, this is the Stella and Dot Sutton or Sutin. Sutin? I think it's Sutton. Sutton? I don't know. Um, necklace from Stella and Dot. I love it. It's beautiful. Um, you can actually wear this green piece right here separate. You can detach it and um, wear that separate from all these other pieces. But it's a really great layering piece. It has gold, some um, beautiful green and blue, and it has true gemstones on it. I think it's beautiful. It pairs so well with like a white tank or white t-shirt. Um, so I've really been loving my Stella and Dot pieces. I'm a new stylist, so if you guys are interested in browsing my website, I will link it down below in the description box. Um, I would love for you to check it out. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Bye!